With the World Cup this summer, most of us have not been paying quite as close of attention to EPL news as we usually do. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to run through a few of the most recent headlines, some of which you may have heard, some of which you may have not. Arsenal signed their first defender, Laurent... That's right, no one really knows how to say this kid's name yet, but Arsenal fans have to take a little comfort in that. I mean, first of all, he's French, and second of all, he has a last name that's really hard to pronounce. What else can you conclude but this kid was meant to be a gooner? Blackpool may have the smallest stadium, but they may have the biggest heart. Their city was so excited that their team got promoted that the town council actually gave the players and managers a medal for making it into the Premier League. They may be the first team in EPL history who actually got a medal for pretty much just showing up for their first game. And preseason fixtures have been out for a while, but no one's looks more interesting than Everton's. And that's because on August 4th, Everton will be playing Everton. That's right, it's the first time Everton FC will face CD Everton from Chile. Moyes has said that he doesn't really know what to expect out of this game. Now, CD Everton are actually the reigning Chilean champions, and they also qualified for South America's Copa Libertadores, which is their equivalency of the Champions League. This may actually be a preseason game worth watching. And in the last day or two, Manchester United announced that Owen Hargraves will not be traveling with the first team this summer, and he is back in America seeing a specialist. I'd really just like to make the request that the next Owen Hargraves headline is when he actually will be playing with the first team. I think that would come as a much bigger shock to all of us. Well, the Spurs are getting creative with their kits for this next season as they actually have two sponsors. One will be for their Premier League kits and one will be for the kits they wear during cup play. Here's the only challenge. They need to find two companies willing to say out loud they support the Spurs. Good luck. What better way to start securing your place in next season's Premier League than by taking the best players from the teams who were just promoted? West Ham has made three bids for West Brom's midfielder Graham Dorian. Now all three bids have been turned down. But you have to admit, this sounds a little bit like Robin Hood stealing from the poor and taking to the rich. You know, West Ham, it might be time to start shoveling out a few extra pounds. And hey, if you find a couple thousand lying around, maybe you can be the fifth or sixth team that Joe Cole is supposed to be going to this summer. And finally, my favorite headline comes from Stoke. Now, not from the team, but from the fans. Back in 2008, a bunch of fans traveled to Manchester for an away game against United. Eight of these fans got a surprise when the pub they were in before the game went on lockdown by Manchester police. They were not allowed to use the bathroom, they were handed illegal notices, shoved on a coach bus which drove them back to Stoke, and randomly dropped them off in the middle of the city just minutes before a kickoff. Sounds kind of funny when you talk about it, but not so funny if you were one of those 80 people. Now, thanks to some good attorneys and a pub owner who gave honest testimony that said the fans were not being disruptive, Manchester police were actually found guilty of the charges against the supporters. And uh, final payout from the police is £184,850 in damages. Guess who's laughing now? Well, that's enough EPL news for now. This Sunday, we've got the World Cup final with Spain versus the Netherlands, where one of these teams will bring home the World Cup title to their country for the first time ever. If you feel like chatting, follow me on Twitter at EPLLoverLA. I'll be online. Got my table reserved at the pub. Hope you do, too. And we'll be back with another episode after the World Cup. Enjoy the game.